Good morning and welcome to Kilowin Parish Church. These are words uh, I say almost every Sunday morning, but of course the pews are full and we're all gathered here for public worship of the living God. At least for the moment, things are different. Uh, the government and the church have quite rightly taken the view that we shouldn't be meeting together. Uh, that part of our responsibility as good citizens, good neighbours, is that we do our bit to control the spread of uh, COVID-19 and above all to uh, limit the impact of more and more infections upon the National Health Service. So we're in a, a new place at the moment and for many of us this is a time of uncertainty, a time of anxiety. Uh, we're worried of course about health, our own health, those whom we love, particularly our older relatives or those who are not so well. And we're increasingly concerned about jobs and our businesses and for our youngsters, the exams that they've been working so hard to prepare for. Uncertainty, uh, anxiety, things are changing around us and so much that we took for granted that we just assumed would always be there well, it's under threat at the moment. God never changes. Jesus is the living expression of God's complete commitment to every one of us. God, the Father, invests in the whole world, in all of creation, through his Son, and of course through the Holy Spirit. We are certain that God is our refuge and our strength in all and every kind of trouble. Over the next few days, perhaps few weeks, we'll be regularly putting stuff online on social media. Just to give you a, a familiar face, a familiar voice, and we'll be sharing our thoughts and our worries, our hopes, and the things that we know to be true about God, about what it means to follow Jesus, even when things are tough, and our conviction that the Holy Spirit is already moving in this community, and across our nation, and around the world. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm uh, well stocked up. I've got... Uh, my tin of spiced chickpea and spinach soup. This is part of my Lose Two Stone in Two Months program. Uh, the next time you see me, you may not even recognize me. But you'll always recognize God. You will feel his touch. You'll know his presence. And you'll hear his still quiet voice. Let's pray together. Almighty God, What's happening around us, what's happening to us, we're struggling to understand. We really wonder what the future holds and what's best. But we know that you've got this. There's nothing about this that's beyond you. And you're asking us to trust and to allow you to be God, the living and the loving God. Perhaps, Father, what you're also saying is stop trying to be your own gods in your own life. And so, Father, we pray for our First Minister and our Prime Minister. We pray for the armies of experts and specialists, medical, scientific, those who are making hard financial decisions, business decisions. We thank you for their commitment, for their expertise, for their desire to do their very best for all of us. Be with them, Lord God. Grant them great wisdom and judgment, but also deep joy and satisfaction in just simply doing their very best. For folk who are not well at the moment, we pray for healing. For those of our friends, our neighbors, our family who are in the at-risk category, uh, we pray for safety. 
And we pray that if they need it, the right medical attention will be there for them. For our communities, we thank you for people who are already mobilizing to care for our neighbors, to ensure that nobody feels isolated or wonders, wonders where their next meal uh, is going to uh, appear from. Uh, and Father, we pray for folk who are worried about jobs and businesses and exams. This is a real cost, Lord God, a real serious concern. We pray for peace. We pray that by your Spirit we will feel calm enough to be still before you and to know that you are God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, despite the threat of my chickpea and spinach soup. If you want some time, some personal prayer space, some time to meditate, perhaps even a, a, a chat, albeit at a suitable distance, the church will be uh, open. Uh, Kilimanjaro Power Church on Rannoch Drive will be open um, really throughout the week. We'll be posting opening times on Facebook, on our Facebook page, on our website, and also via our Twitter feed. So do not feel alone. Do not feel alone. This is a community that cares. This is a church that uh, really takes seriously uh, uh, Christ's uh, concern that we love our neighbors. But above all, your God, our Father, is here. He's present. He's among us. He's never, never going to abandon you. So, until the next time.